So what's what's wrong with the Prius? Well, there's nothing wrong with the Prius except it's basically just a gas car. It's a slightly more efficient gasoline car. It gets all of its motive power from the gasoline pump. There's no way to plug it in. You can't use it as an electric car. You can't use it with your solar electric system. You can't plug it in off-peak. You have to go to the gas station and get gasoline for it. There is no way to run a Prius uh, without a gasoline pump. Uh, that's called a parallel configuration, where the gasoline engine and the electric motor are side by side. There's a, there's a physical connection between the engine and the wheels, and there still is a clutch. And in fact, it's more complicated. There's a continuously variable transmission, and there is a planetary gear arrangement or other kind of torque sharing arrangement so that both the electric motor and the gasoline engine can power the car at the same time. That's why it's parallel. And there's two kinds of parallel hybrids. One is the weak variety that won't run at all unless the gas engine's running. Those are the Honda variety. And then there's the strong parallel hybrid, which is the Prius, which can run a little bit on the electric motor alone because it has a slightly larger battery and a slightly larger motor. And the motor is connected through the planetary gear arrangement to the wheel. So you can actually run the thing on the electric motor for a couple of miles. But it is, since it can't plug in, it is, it's not a, it's just still a gasoline car and it's not an EV. The other kind of hybrid, uh, other than the parallel, is the serial hybrid configuration. It's called serial because everything is in a line. The, all the motive power comes from the motor. The motor is the only thing connected to the wheels and there's no transmission. It's just a straight uh, gear, a straight transmission from the, the uh, constant ratio from the motor to the wheels, usually 11.8 to 1. Behind that is a controller. Behind that is a battery pack. Behind that is a gas genset. It can be gasoline, diesel, it can be biodiesel, it can be natural gas. Serial hybrids have, have been constructed in all varieties. Now, a serial hybrid is basically an electric car plus a genset, generation, generator set with a gasoline, diesel, or other engine to run it. So you run it just like an EV, just like our Toyota RAV4 e reruns, until the battery pack runs down. Then the generator is capable of running the thing further on uh, if you have to go on occasional long trips. The serial plug-in hybrid, as proposed by General Motors with the Volt, is the, the wonderful, as Chelsea Sexton says, it's the killer app. It has none of the problems of the EV, and it has none of the problems of the hybrid. The problems of the EV are that sometimes you do want to go on a very long distance, and there it's very difficult to fast charge an electric car, although we do it. We have fast chargers. Uh, there just isn't uh, usually a 200 amp plug around. Uh, but most 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 trips are local. You know, we've driven in the last four years 170,000 miles locally in two RAV4 EVs, so most driving is local. And the problem with the hybrids are that they, you can't plug them in. It's not a good thing you can't plug them in. It's a bad thing because we want to be able to power the car at least partially off of electric. The more we can shove the energy load onto electric, preferably onto solar rooftop power where we get our power, uh, the cleaner the transportation mix will be and the greater chance we have of being free of the influence of foreign oil dictators. So that's what we're after, is a serial plug-in hybrid, not the parallel configuration. Serial plug-in hybrid, and it doesn't have any problems. There's no problem building it. If we use nickel metal hydride batteries, it could be built tomorrow. Basically, my Toyota RAV4 EV is a serial plug-in hybrid with 120 miles range, 150 in a pinch. And General Motors can make that car a serial plug-in hybrid using nickel metal hydride batteries tomorrow, if they had the engineers because nickel metal, hydride, nickel metal hydride is perfect for a serial plug-in hybrid. It, the nickel metal hydride likes to be discharged. So you run the car until the battery is discharged or partially discharged, then the engine runs. And the user can buy the battery pack to suit. You can buy small battery pack if you only have a 10 mile commute, larger if you have a 50 mile commute, up to a 200 mile battery pack if you have a very long commute. 